I was only about two and a half when he went away. Because my mum kept saying to me, you know, he'll be coming back, don't worry, he'll be coming back, and he didn't. So I was really cross with my mother. He sent lots of little things, toys to me and that, but this is the only thing I kept. I believe my father after he adored me, so. I don't know what he'd have been like if he came back from, from Japan, if he had survived. I kept thinking my daddy was coming home, and he didn't. My mother used to say, he might be on the next one. And of course he wasn't. You need to be able to put your mind at rest. But they're gone. They are dead. And you tell that you don't accept them. Seven years ago, I was shooting a film in Dongji Island in China. A fair boat captain told me that a ship sank here in the Second World War. More than 800 British POWs dead in the shipwreck. They were still lying on the seabed. I was shocked. So I took my technical team there. Bang Li, a Chinese filmmaker, surveyed the area where the ship went down. A geophysicist by training, he believes he's found the wreck of the Lisbon Maroon. Just 30 meters below our boat, there are 800 young men dead there. Who are they? What happened? Nobody ever heard. Fang Li's tracking down relatives of the men who drowned by placing huge adverts in British newspapers and is producing results. And my husband was reading the Telegraph paper. He said, look at this, look at this on the back page of this. On the BBC Today programme, yeah, literally just as I switched it on, someone said Lisbon Maru, that pinned me to the radio. I was still in bed. I turned on the TV and there was something on the TV about the Lisbon Maru. I, I was just amazed, you know. Today, September the 27th, 77 years ago, your dad was on board of Lisbon Marine. This is a sauna image of Lisbon Marine today. The water depth is only about 30 meters. Wow, my goodness. That's the actual boat. So Charles could be in there? Yes, he's inside here at this spot. And the Japanese were shooting them and swimming on its bodies. Once you see one dead body, I mean, you become hardened to it. My dad couldn't swim. He was surrounded by sharks. The enemy were firing up and trying to drive motorboats over him. I thought, my God, after what I've been to, this is the way I'm going to die. And suddenly this light came on me. I was swimming towards the island and I could see the rocks. So I thought to myself, how the hell am I going to get on those rocks? And the next thing I know, there's a little boat there. Hey, don't touch it now. Sweep it down, sweep it down. Le, 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 touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Didn't understand a bloody word they said. All I know is it was kind. Middle aged man, something. I got a fisherman. And he pulled me, helped to get me here, get me in the boat. Amongst the Chinese fishermen started picking up the 
POWs, mm -hmm. the Japanese had to stop shooting because they were then witnesses to mass murder. Now I think that Chinese fishermen risked their own very lives to rescue us. They really stuck their neck out for us. Those Chinese fishermen don't know it, but they saved a hell of a lot more than what they thought they saved. Lee. My father was William Headley. I am the daughter-in-law of Chief Petty Officer John Allison. This is my father, Albert Victor Powell. Christopher Warren was my uncle that I never met. My father, William Arth Arlo. Frederick William Johnson. He was 26 when he died on the Lisbon Maru. 22 years old when he died. He was only 23. 32. 27. 26. My father was only seven when he lost my granddad, and he had nowhere to go to remember him by. It may not be important to some people, it's important to me. Look at me. I can't talk about it. I don't know why. I understand. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the tears condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. We will remember them. To the father I never knew and have missed all my life. God bless, rest in peace, Jeff. Dear Father, I mourn you even though I was too young to remember you. All my love is your darling. Grandad, we love you. Thank you for giving us the most wonderful father a girl could have. I never had this pleasure of knowing you. My thoughts have always been with you in memory. Oh, my God, that was my beautiful. Mm. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, 800 other men.